All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting edition of How Do I Do This Anyways? Uh, the topic of today's conversation is more CAD modeling tools, and we are going to do this with Legos. I love Legos. Uh, but seriously now, uh, we're going to be going through a couple of tools, the shell tool, the offset tool, and most importantly, the rectangular pattern tool. So let's go ahead and get cracking on this. If you want the written instructions and dimensions, they are on the sheet that's provided to you. I'm going to be using these dimensions to do this little tutorial. So I would suggest you watch the tutorial because you're also going to get more background information on how to do stuff. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about, we've been working in inches this whole time. Now we're going to have to change that and go into um, millimeters. So what we want to do is we want to create a new and now we need to come into templates because we've been doing just standard IPTs and that's in inches and whatnot. So now we got to go into our templates and we got to click this metrics template. And now you see sheet metal, sheet metal, standard DIN IPT and millimeters IPT. We want a standard millimeters IPT. Double click that. Now, what we should be able to see is that if we start a sketch, we should be able to see the dimensions are in millimeters automatically. See that? That's beautiful right there. 171.07. Nah, we want that to be a flavor more along the lines of 31.8 millimeters. And I hit the tab button and then 15.8 millimeters. Now, if your um, part is not in millimeters, now is a good time to come up here to this Tools tab, click on Document Settings, and click on Units, and change the length to millimeters, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and extrude that. Yep, that, and I want to extrude that to a whopping 9.6 millimeters. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and start making my little lugs that are on the top of it. Um, on the sketch, it's pretty detailed about where they need to be. Put them there. I'm going to go ahead and start my 2D sketch. Now, I'm going to only draw one of those lugs. I'm going to use the pattern tool to make the rest of them. That's the, one of the most useful functions in Inventor is that rectangular pattern tool. Now, one of the key things about this, I want to make sure I'm not dropping this little spot with where I'm dropping my first circle where there's any constraints going to hold it in place. Okay, so I'm just going to click that out and type in 4.8 as the diameter of my circles. Now I'm going to use the dimension tool to go from the center to the edge, and that's going to be 3.9 millimeters. And then I'm going to do the same thing the other direction. 3.9. All right, cool. Now I need to go ahead and extrude that thing up. And that has to come up 1.8 millimeters. Okay. Now, on top of every Lego, there's a little name. So what we want to do is we want to do that. Go ahead and place a text box right there on it. And just go ahead and write your initials on it. Now, that whole thing was only 4.8 across. We need much smaller letters than that. It's still too big. Come on. When it highlights, that's when you can double click it. Highlight your text. And then you can change that text. Uh, 1.75, maybe? That'll work. I'm just going to center that up a little bit better. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click Finish Sketch. Now I want to go ahead and emboss that because, of course, I am. Cut it in. A millimeter of depth is good enough. And click OK. All right, so now I got my initials carved in there. 
Now, I want that seven more times, but rather than going through that long process seven more times, I'm going to use this delightful tool cleverly named the Rectangular Pattern Tool. So click on that thing, and the first thing it's going to ask for are the features that you want in a pattern. I'm going to select the little lug there along with the extrusion. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and also select the direction of direction one. You need to select some geometry that's in here in this, in this area where this pattern tool is going to go. I'm going to select that edge and immediately it pops up with another copy of it that's separated by 10 millimeters. You need to tell it how many copies you want and also you want to tell it how far apart they should be. Okay, don't click OK yet. The next thing we need to do, that looks right going horizontally. Now we need to make sure that we're going in the right direction on the other way. So click that. Oh, oh my. Now they're out here in free space. Click this little button to flip it. And then go ahead and place them at the appropriate distance as well. Should be eight millimeters from center to center for each one of these. Okay. Now, uh, I'm looking at this thing and I'm seeing that that looks way too deep. I mean, my lugs are only 1.8 millimeters tall and I extruded that down all the way down. Here's one of the glorious things about that pattern tool. I can go ahead and if I change this one feature, let's say instead of being one, I'm just going to do like, I don't know, 0 0.2. See how all of them changed? Every single one of them. Anything you do to that original one, it's going to change it. Okay? So, that's one of the things I love about that pattern tool is you make your initial one, you make it exactly as you want it, and then the rest of them you just make copies of. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come down to the bottom because, yeah, that looks pretty all right on the top. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a shell. We're going to hollow this thing out. And all you need to do is, first off, um, set your thickness, 1.2. It'll save you some headache and heartache on your computer. Then you want to make sure that this remove faces is clicked, and you select the face you want to remove. Click it. Give it time to think. It's going to give you that little preview. You see the red in there, how far up this extrusion goes? That actually looks pretty good to me. I'm going to click OK. And now I have my extrusion, or I'm sorry, the cut, the shelling, in order to make this thing hollow. Now, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to make those little lugs. Because if you've ever looked at the bottom of a Lego, there's those little circles in there. So we need to make a sketch. Start a 2D sketch on the bottom of this thing. Okay, but we need to know where those outer circles are. So we're going to click Project Geometry. And we have two options here. You can either find the circles that you want to on the bottom, or orbit the thing around and select those circles on the top. Now we know exactly where all those lugs are when this Lego is locked in on top of another Lego. That's key because you need the circle in here to actually lock onto the circle on the next one. So with that in mind, we can go ahead and place a circle. Okay, I'm just going to click and drag out a circle. Now, all that circle here has to intersect with, well, before I do that, Let's click the offset tool because if you've ever looked at it, you know that it's just a little thin piece of material that's in a circle. Okay. Now I'm going to make my tangent constraints and I want that outer circle to touch that circle in one spot. Same for here. Same for here. And the same for there. Now, this is where some more magic can happen. But before I do that, I need to project some geometry. I'm going to go ahead and use the rectangular 
um, pattern tool, but I need some geometry to say the direction I want that pattern to be going in. So now I can select my pattern tool. It's asking me what geometry I want. I want this and that. Now it's asking me what direction do I want to go in? I'm going to click that and immediately guesses I want to go in this direction over here for some strange reason. Flip it. I want three of those and the spacing above was 0.8 millimeters. So from here to here should be 0.8 millimeter, or I'm sorry, eight millimeters as well. Boom. I got all those sketches now. Now what I need to do is I need to extrude them. Click E for the extrusion, but you gotta be careful about what you're actually extruding. You see how the whole thing, you wanna make sure you're not highlighting the whole thing. You just want that outer ring, okay? Just the outer ring. Now, if you are not careful and you do that, hold the shift key, click again, okay? Now, I want to go ahead and I want to um, go in the opposite direction. See how it's wanting to pull this way? It's pointing to pull out according to that arrow. I want to push in and I also want to go to some geometry. I want to go to that surface. See how it extruded inwards with that? Now I'm going to click OK. And now I have a handy dandy Lego. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, go ahead, save your Lego, you know, Lego underscore your initials, and then go ahead and take a screenshot. Have a great day.